State Senator Christian Phillips Hill from the 28th District here at the 104th Pennsylvania Farm Show with Hugh McPherson. Maple Lawn Farms, Orchards. Yes. And, and agritourism and, and pumpkins yeah. and all kinds of great things and happening. Delicious cider slushies. We have, uh, and we're supporting our dairy farmer friends. So uh, the fruit guys, we stick with the dairy guys. They love their cider too. So uh, they, they we, we take good care of each they other do. in the ag community. Well, back home in your county, you often find at places like Perry Dell and some of the other dairies, they're selling uh, locally sourced. Apple cider. Apple cider. Yep, absolutely. absolutely. No, absolutely. no, we stick together. We stick Wonderful. together, particularly Wonderful. in York County. Well, I'm so glad that you came up to spend a little time talking to me about some of the important issues uh, in York County with agriculture as well mm -hmm. as across the state. And uh, one of those is the growing business of agritourism, right? So there are fewer farms, unfortunately, which means you're now a tourist destination. People want to show right. their kids where their food comes from. Yeah, and I think that's what has always been very popular with the, uh, with the farm show. It's a chance for people to get in touch with agriculture, uh, where sometimes kids think that food comes from a grocery store. And so uh, one of the big outreach programs in, at our farm is school tours. And so we bring kids out, we get them to pick an apple right off the tree so that they understand that cider doesn't come from a, a slushy machine, cider comes from real apples. And, uh, and that's just a, been a wonderful part of what we do and what a lot of farms around the state do uh, just because there's so few of us left. One of the things I have found is that our farmers in York County are very innovative, they're very entrepreneurial, mm -hmm. and you certainly typify that. I, I met you uh, back when you were applying to the U.S. Department of Agriculture for a grant uh, to add value-added products to what Maple Lawn Farms does, and, and you created a line of wine. Yes. Talk a little bit about that. Ex explain to folks back home um, what it means to have value-added products and diversify uh, what your farm offers. Yes, if I had a third hand, it would be holding a wine glass. That is for sure. Enjoy. They, uh, so wine, wine is, uh, sometimes people think that wine is something different than an agricultural product. They think it's uh, that wineries are somehow different, but wine comes from grapes and uh, we make wine out of our peaches and out of our apples and that grant program which was a wonderful program uh, helped us get over that hump get from uh, a raw product like like apple cider and be able to turn that into wine and then wine opens up a whole new uh, group of people who may not come out to pick apples and peaches uh, or come on a school tour but uh, when it comes to the weekend they like to head out and try some new uh, wines and, and do some sampling. So it's been a wonderful part for us in terms of growing the, the tourism dollars that are coming in from out of state. We're, you know, your county, we're a border, uh, border county. And so uh, we bring tons of people out of Maryland and it's just such a revenue generator for the state um, and for our farm too. And like you said, it's diversification. So you just never know what the weather's gonna do. So you gotta have a lot of irons in the fire to uh, keep the farm healthy. Indeed. And not to mention, you created a couple of jobs with, with that new product line. Yeah, and that's, uh, that's all part of it. I, I think the, the perception that farms are just, uh, you know, old Pa and the son out there and we're just uh, hoeing away down the, down the farm lane. Well, that's just not the way it is. You know, this is a modern business and it takes people. I mean, our farm manager, uh, he's driving a tractor that is robotically controlled by GPS and he's got to manage that whole process. We're generating yield maps that tell us exactly where we have a problem in the field so that we can be very precise. You know, some people think that, that you're just applying chemicals like crazy. Oh no, that's very expensive. So on our, on our farm, we're down, we're down to, the, to the pixel trying to figure out how to be as efficient and conservation minded as, po as possible. Because if we don't take care of the land, we don't get to keep farming, and uh, and that's just a fact. You know, we have to take care of. Uh, I mean, I'm Generation Five, right? I can't be the one who messes up the farm. So no, you know, no. we, and I don't want it to be developed, right? And that's all part of when when you come to a farm and you purchase wine or you purchase fruit products or uh, you you drink delicious dairy products from Pennsylvania. When you do that, you're keeping the money in our community. And you, every purchase, is preserving farmland. Because if I have a profitable farm, I'm not selling to a developer. And that's the, that's the most important message. I hope people understand when they think about, you know, maybe should I buy local or not? 
you really should because you're saying I support preserving farmland with every purchase. And it makes such a huge difference. We are so blessed. We're so fortunate. York County right. and Southern York County has some of the most beautiful farmland and it really would be uh, sad for us to, to lose that. Yes. But one of the neat things is that especially uh, around Halloween, folks can come on down to Maple Lawn Farms and they can do a maze. Yes. And they, they can get scared, they can get lost and find their way home and have a great time. So yet another aspect of, of farming and agriculture in York County. Talk a little bit about agritourism, what it means to Maple Lawn Farms, what it means to the larger agricultural community in York and across Pennsylvania. Sure. Well, corn mazes, we got started back in 97. And when we got started, all of the old guys, right? They, because they grew up all farmers, they, they said, nobody's going to come out to walk around in a cornfield. And uh, the reason they would is because now it is so infrequent that you get to be out. I mean, when it's dark, you're under the stars. There are no street lights out there. And uh, it's just an incredible experience to be out in this living maze. And so the corn maze has been a big part of our fall harvest festival with apples and pumpkin picking. And um, we started planting sunflowers for our sunflower festival. And the reason is we have 10 acres. And 10 acres is like 10 football fields of sunflowers. And you can only do that in a big, wide open space. And that's why it's important to protect these big, wide open spaces um, like our farm. And then uh, we're one of the farms that opens our doors. There's so many in York County that open our doors and say, come into the orchard, come, come pick, come pick sunflowers, come, come pick pumpkins right from the vine that grew them. And uh, that's just a wonderful thing to see in our ag community is uh, that opening of the doors. You know, people talk about transparency. Well, just walk on the farm and, and come see us, right? You can't be more transparent than, than there's that apple and I just pop, popped it right off the tree. It's fantastic. Let's take a walk. Mm -hmm.